Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Wednesday, July 28th, 2021. Let's get started with some space weather. Right now, our solar wind speeds are elevated at 473.9 kilometers per second with a density of 9.2. And there's something to be said about the solar wind speeds being increased. Uh, we have noticed an increase of cosmic radiation today. The dosage rates have went up to 8.5%. Now, yesterday we reported at 8.2 very small gains however the connection here is that the reason why we are seeing higher concentration of, of highly charged particles today is because of how fast our solar wind is today bombarding the um, magnetosphere so what's going to happen well once the solar wind dies down we should see cosmic radiation rates drop tomorrow as well i'm not saying this is an uptick in cosmic radiation because of grand solar minimum I'm saying that solar wind is causing an increase of intake from cosmic radiation right now. So this is common to see the cosmic radiation go up just a little bit from higher solar wind speeds. Plus, we've had a very thick, dense solar wind for the last couple of days, somewhere between 15 and 20 on the density. And at 473.9 kilometers per second, looking at a 9.2 density is not that thin. So it's kind of a thick stream. Therefore, it's going to cause a little bit more increase when it comes to um, cosmic radiation to the atmosphere. And that is why we are seeing the dosage rates go up just a little bit today. KPNC is sitting at a 3 with a 24-hour max of 4. Hello there to Matt Bros in the chat. Also, the star man himself, David Birch is here. Good to see you, my friend. How's the weather over there in the UK? All right, so let's get back here. Sunspots AR 2846 and 2847 are still existing. They are sunspots number 25. So no growth, no mag nothing unstable about these sunspots, no solar flares expected. In fact, these things are now starting to, um, how should we say this, decay. And again, I talked about this on Monday night, and I'll talk about it tonight too on the evening edition of this show. Um, that we are looking at the possibility of a spotless day, believe it or not. I know, right? Hasn't happened in a while, but let me take you over to thegrandsolarminimum.com and let's show you what we have looking here into the future. The big picture. I like to call this one here the big picture. And why do I call this the big picture? Well, this shows us what we got coming and what's leaving. You guys notice at the bottom and on the sides you have your latitudes and longitude is at the bottom. Uh, latitude uh, for sunspots right now are going to be in the negative 30 and the positive above 30. Right now, if you're looking at this screen with me, <clears throat> we are taking a look at what is to come on the other side of the eastern limb, which is right around here. We have this one bright active region, folks. This could be our next sunspot, maybe not. I don't know what is popping up here in the corona because if you look at the um, if you look at the SDO in motion right now, you're going to see something on the right here where my arrow is. Not anytime soon, but at the very end of this run, we will see a little bit of activity. I know we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, and we're waiting. Let me show it one more time here. Gotta love technology. Actually, that was early. So that has went away. That little explosion that I was watching out here, no longer, and the sun is quiet indeed. Wow. Okay, so with that being said, we are not looking at anything as far as sunspots in the near future. The only thing that would uh, prevent us from not having a spotless day at this point as if something showed up somewhere around in here and just developed. But right now, as we have this up and we're looking at maybe a potential sunspot here, maybe. We have seen these bright active regions before, much bigger than this as well, and nothing has occurred. Example, this, this was huge beyond the eastern limb before it crossed, and now look at it. It's decayed sunspot number 12, I think, for this particular grouping. So couple more days of this this is now piercing the eastern limb 
just barely. I mean, just barely. So this is now Earth-facing. Spaceweather.com does not have this circled as an area of interest just yet. So we will keep you up to date. Tune in tonight for the evening edition, and we'll check and see if that's a sunspot yet. All right, let's check out our weather here in the United States. I'll give a full report on weather tonight on the evening edition, but for now, let's take a look at what we could expect here in the lower 48. we got showers and storms across the northern Great Lakes, Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Michigan. Some could be severe with just plain old rain showers and a cold front trying to move through into the northeast and the northeastern parts of Ohio, near Cleveland, Ohio. Rain showers across the south as well, and more rain showers for the southwest and the northwest, just a little bit. And then let's check out, sorry Matt, no rain for you yet, but that could change. Here is Thursday, a little bit wetter across the central plains. Matt, you might get a chance for some sprinkles that day, maybe. Uh, some heavy rain possible. Flash flooding for parts of Arizona. Once again, monsoon season kicks it again. Rain pretty much at about 70% of the country on tomorrow. Heavy showers across Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. Just plain old rain for the south and the northeast. And then by the time we get to our weekend, I can't believe we're almost here again. The good news about this map is that Friday we are not expecting any kind of severe weather anywhere in the lower 48. So that's the good news. Just plain old rain showers in the northeast. Matt, looks like you get some rain chances in Nebraska on Friday as well. Rain across the south in the Gulf states and more rain for the southwest. So again, it's monsoon season down there. They need the rain. And um, at this point, every little bit they can get is going to be more than appreciated because of how hot and dry it has been over the past several weeks. All right, that's going to do it for me this morning, guys. Please tune in tonight around 7.30 p.m. for a full report of the Grand Solar Minimum Update. I'll go ahead and go over the weather one more time, get a little bit more extended look, and also check out and see what's going on in the U.K. and Europe as well. Until then, I hope everyone has an awesome day. Please take care, and we will talk soon. Do you like this show? Give us a thumbs up. Want to support us more? Share to your favorite social media platform. Buy a t-shirt or become a Patreon. All links are in the description below.